Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan and our cameraman is Henry and today we're going to show you the Grey Wolf 23 DBH. And this is a smaller lightweight unit, um, has everything. It's kind of the ideal uh, bunk unit and it's just a little over 5,000 pounds. Today we're going to start up front. We do have your power tongue jack, have your power stabilizer jacks and power awning. So we have power all the way through. Uh, the tongue jack does have your LED light in the front along with your adjustable foot pad on the bottom. Behind the power tongue jack is your uh, twin 20 pound LP tanks and it comes with a hard cover with the easy access lid on the top. And then behind the LP tanks is uh, normally where we would mount the batteries. Uh, there's room for one to two batteries uh, there. On the front, we do have your radius front end. We do have your diamond plate rock guard at the bottom. And your metal here on the front is twice the thickness of your metal on the sides uh, just because of the elements. So you do have a thicker metal on the front. So moving around to this side, we do have your portable solar charge port. So if you do some dry camping, there is a charge port that you can uh, connect your portable solar panel keep your batteries charged. Right here is your front storage compartment. This is under your bed area in the front. You can access from out here or from the inside. And also, uh, uh, one thing Cherokee does is they put the felt liner in here so your, uh, your stuff doesn't slide around like uh, some manufacturers use just their linoleum and run it on through. Uh, if we move down here to the bottom, we do have the power stabilizer jacks like I mentioned. We have it in the down position so you can see how that looks. And then your retract extend switch is right underneath here as well. Uh, to the front here is your uh, LP quick connect. So if you do have an outdoor grill and would like to tap into your LP bottles up front, there's an easy access for that right there. You do have your scare light here in the front along with your accent lighting underneath the awning. And we do have your power awning in the out position. Uh, have you a uh, good size awning on here along with your adjustable. Um, you can adjust the pitch so the water runs off one side or the other. Uh, this also is automatically dumps. If you get approximately two and a half gallons of water on the awning, it'll trip itself to dump it. It's a nice feature that it has. So we move back here, you do have the uh, two steps at your entry door. Uh, you have your folding assist grab handle and you have your friction door which is to withstand 20 mile an hour winds. So you don't have the old style latch, latches in the past that used to break off for you. So we move back here, we have our outside entertainment center. You have your two speakers which are lighted LED uh, speakers which is kind of a new cool feature that they added along with your TV bracket. Now this bracket is the same as the one on the interior. Uh, so it is compatible, so if you'd like to take the TV from the inside, you just slide it off, slide it in out here, and you've got your TV connections right over here. These are uh, the mag wheels, is what they call them. These are chrome uh, plated wheels, so, uh, so they don't rust. And we do have the radial tires along, if you look at the stem, has a number 50 on the end cap, shows you the tire pressure that needs to be in there. You can also see it's green, uh, which shows your tire pressure is good. If that turns to red, it means you're low. <clears throat> this does have your second entry door at the back that goes into the bathroom area. And right in front of that is your black tank flush. So when you drain your black tanks, uh, you can connect your water hose to that and you can flush it out uh, to clean your probes on the tank and or solids that are built up. So we move around to the back. We do have your travel rack here on the back. Uh, this is nice. Uh, you just remove a pin on each side. Reinsert the pins on each side. And you can uh, put your firewood, your coolers, or Whatever you'd like on the back, it just gives you extra carrying capacity, uh, which is a nice feature that's standard on these. Also on the end cap of the bumpers, 
You have a removable cap so you can st store your uh, sewer hose in the bumper. At the top between the clearance lights you'll see a bracket that is for a backup camera. Um, it is prepped and ready for the backup camera so you can add that if you'd like. We have two options. One's a backup camera, the other is an observation camera. As we move around to this side we do have the storage as well underneath the bunk area. So do you have a lot of nice storage on this 23 dbh. Below the storage compartment is our dump station. You notice we have a gray handle and a black handle. Black handle meaning the tank that the toilet dumps into and the gray handle being the gray tank which is your shower and your kitchen sink and this all dumps out of this one port. Here is your outside shower. It does come with your hot and cold for the outside shower. It does come with your 30 amp connection. It also comes with a 30 amp detachable cord. Uh, so you have, you don't have the old style where you're pushing in and pulling out and it gets knotted up inside. It takes away from your storage. Uh, so the, uh, the detachable cord is a nice feature. Here's your city water connection. Fresh water connection is when you're dry camping like at a state park. They don't have a water hookup. You can fill your fresh water tank. Turn on your water pump on the inside. Fre uh, your city water connection is where you'd connect to at a campsite when they do have water and electric hookup. Right here is your cable hookup. This is uh, prepped and ready for cable. So if you're at a campground that has cable hookup, you can just tap right into there for that. As we move to the front, we have your six gallon gas electric DSI water heater. DSI standing for direct spark ignition. Um, here you can heat up to 10 gallons of water with gas or electric and you can heat up to 16 gallons of water with a combination of both. Um, if you come up here and look, there is an on and off switch in the lower left hand corner. That's for the electric side of the water heater. And then we have uh, the switch for the gas side is on the inside and I'll show you that later. Uh, always make sure you have water in the water heater uh, so you do not burn up your heating element before you turn the electric side on. I believe that concludes the video of the outside of the 23 dbh and now we'll move to the inside. Now as we move to the inside of the 23 dbh, we do have your dinette in the slide out, your bunks and bathroom towards the back, and your kitchen area opposite of the slide out. Today we'll start up front in the bedroom area. We do have your uh, entertainment center wall dividing your bedroom from the rest. Um, this does give you an area to kick off your shoes at the bottom. You got some storage at the base cabinet. And then you have your Furion DVD stereo uh, Bluetooth compatible there. And then you have the area to place your TV. Uh, it does come with your TV brackets already. So all you need to provide is the TV along with your ceiling tray and your TV connections and lights above it. You do have your sliding pocket doors on uh, each side, give you privacy in the bedroom. Also have a wardrobe with overhead cabinets uh, on each side of the bed. Uh, it does come with pendulant lights uh, at the head of the bed. This does give you uh, the blue accent light or you can flip it over to a reading light. So it does give you the capability to change it from uh, white to blue. Underneath the bed is storage area as well. Uh, it does give you access like I mentioned on the outside so you do have storage underneath the bed. You also have a ducted AC along with a backer in the ceiling if you'd like to add a TV into the bedroom area you can do that as well. And like I mentioned uh, uh, in all of the Grey Wolves and Cherokee product, they do put USB ports on each side of the bed. So you do have a receptacle and a USB charging port on both sides. Uh, that's one thing they do well. They have it there, the dinette, and if there's any bunks, uh, they put them by each bunk as well. 
So we move out to the living area. We'll start with the dinette. This does go down to a sleeping area. If you look at the pictures on our website, uh, remove the pedestals to the table, slide the cushions together, gives you some sleeping arrangement there as well. And you have 40 inch drawers underneath each dinette seat. So you do have a lot of storage um, underneath the dinette. And that is your detachable power cord that comes along with the unit. You do have your roller shades, which is a nice upgrade that uh, Gray Wolf did to these. And we'll move back to the bunk area. It does have a digital thermostat, so you can run your furnace and air conditioner from that thermostat. And you do have uh, some storage in front of the bunks, so you do have like a small pantry from floor to ceiling. So you have a lot of nice shelving in there for storage. You do have the big bunks in the back, top and bottom. And like I mentioned, you do have USB port at each bunk. So we move to the bathroom area. You do have your toilet with your tub shower combo. It does have your tub surround along with a skylight and a fantastic fan vent. You do have the extra door into the bathroom area, vanity along with a medicine cabinet. Do you have gas electric refrigerator? So you do have a separate freezer compartment. And if you also notice, there is a little latch inside the refrigerator handle. Uh, you can lock this in in that position in storage so you don't have the worry of moldy fridges when you bring them out of storage. So nice feature that has. Uh, in the kitchen, they did a very nice upgrade to the kitchen. We have stainless steel appliances. We have a backsplash, um, we have the glass overhead cabinet doors, and lots of lighting. They did very good. If I get down, you'll see all the lighting underneath the range hood, underneath the overhead, and the ceiling tray. So very well lit kitchen. Um, great job for chair, uh, Gray Wolf for doing that. So you do have some storage in the base cabinets. Uh, you do have your sink cover, which gives you more countertop space when you're not using the sink and you have a uh, huge sink bowl uh, that you can actually wash cookie sheets or whatever you may have. You do have the high-rise pull-out kitchen faucet, the oven with the glass drop-in cooktop so this again gives you uh, more countertop space when you're not using the stove and this just folds back out of the way if you'd like to use it. Above there you have stainless steel range hood and a microwave. Also in the ceiling in the kitchen area you do have a skylight that has a shade on it so it does give you uh, more lighting uh, just very well lit like I mentioned. I think that concludes the inside of the 23 DBH and uh, again we are the Outpost RV if you have any questions, you can contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Again, this is Phelan, and thank you for watching.